since really not much has happened and I feel like a horrible person for not having really anything for you guys today. Um, I thought it'd be a good idea since we have a bunch of new people. Maybe I'll do a little introducing myself, what the channel's about, and my dogs. internet friends how are we doing today how are we sis are we doing sleepy yeah how are we boys sleepy so it's like ridiculously late in the day caffeination cheers and I'm not vlogged at all today because I'm a terrible person and really all I've done today is nothing um, the only reason I got out of the house was to check on Sasha. Otherwise, it's been, like, watching YouTube, or, um, I was playing Dream Dad Simulator, which is a really fun game. Sorry, that is me popping my hands. Um, and then at one point I started watching Mob Psycho 100, and then decided to start watching the third season of Ruby. Um, so, not much has been accomplished, really. Buddy, come here. <gasps> come here. Emeril, can you pressure? Come here. No? Meanie. But, um, since really not much has happened, and I feel like a horrible person for not having really anything for you guys today, um, I thought it'd be a good idea, since we have a bunch of new people, maybe I'll do a little introducing myself, what the channel's about, and my dogs. There might be a few, like, FAQ type things in here. I know there's a lot of questions regarding that one over there. So, we will get to that. Um, for those of you who, sorry, the camera was bothering me. So, if you already know about me and you're just like, eh, I don't really want to hear this, then, you know, I'll see you tomorrow. But if you want to hear about me, about my dogs, about why this blog exists, then, hey, stay tuned! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, that was a total beauty guru moment, but, oh well. So, let's start in the beginning. Hi, my name is Raven. I am 23. I live in Georgia in the USA. I'm not going to go any further as to where in Georgia, but yeah. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in biology. Yay. Um, if you go back to a lot of my older blogs, I started in on December 29th, 2015. And that was pretty much you got to see my entire senior year of college. Um, so, woo! Um, so yeah, uh, what else? I like making YouTube videos, I like long walks on the beach, actually I don't like the beach that much. I love my dogs, if you guys can't already tell, I, they're wonderful. And I will introduce each and every one of them individually in a minute. Um, cause you see all three of them in the intro to my blog, and some of you guys might be like, what? Who are these? And of course you see them every time I'm in my room. Yay. Um, but for the vlog, I started vlogging December 29th, 2015. That same year, I got my official diagnosis of generalized anxiety disorder, major depressive disorder, and panic disorder. In a nutshell, anxiety, depression, panic attacks. Yay! Holy Trinity! <laughs> um, yeah, it had been about a month after my official diagnosis. Um, as far as I knew, I've had panic attacks since I was 11, as far as I knew. Um, I've had major depressive disorder since I was about 13. Um, and the anxiety... 
I feel like I've had it my whole life and just never realized it, but it definitely got worse when I started college. So it got worse. Like it started getting really bad and being more of a concern when I was around 18. So yay, fun times. Um, and the reason why I started pressing the panic button um, was because, you know, after I got my official diagnosis, I was like, you know, I know that anxiety is like the number, one of the top mental illnesses diagnosed in the USA along with depression and ADHD, but I'm like, I want, like, I wanted to find YouTube videos and stuff so I could be able to connect to people and be like, where are the people that understand this? And I never found anything. I kind of thought about vlogging for a little while and I was just like, uh, I don't know what to vlog about. But now it's just like, you know what? Why don't I start a vlog about living with mental illness? Because, you know, I was wanting to try to find people to connect to. And if I start a vlog, then, you know, I could find people to connect with. Fun times. Um, and plus... I can reach out to people and help other people, which is something that I am passionate about. So, yay! Oh, and little fun fact, how I chose the name Pressing the Panic Button, there is reason. So there was this app called Pacifica that I used to be on. If you see some of my earlier vlogs, when you look down in the description, you will see, um, for Pacifica, you will see my username and the name Pressing the Panic Button. So Pacifica is this really cool app, by the way, not sponsored by Pacifica, but that would be great. Pacifica is this great app where, like, you can monitor your mood, you can put in there, like, you can help, have it help you monitor things like, okay, did I take my meds today? Did I eat healthy? Did I reduce the amount of alcohol I drink? Stuff like that. And it also, at one point, updated to where there were chat rooms with different categories like anxiety, depression, school, YouTube, things like that. So I made an anxiety chat board, chat room, blah, and I called it pressing the panic button because I thought it was catchy. And I'm like, you know, for anxiety people, if you're panicking, it's like, Arr! so that's where the name came from. And my username on there was egads, lowercase e, capital G-A-D, for generalized anxiety disorder, huh, S. So... <laughs> That's where the name came from. I am no longer on Pacifica, so you can't find that group. I got very overwhelmed when it had a high, high, high number of people, and I felt like I had to help everybody. It was like, huh? But, yeah, that's where it came from. So, this December, it will be two years of being on YouTube, and I love it. Um, I've technically been on YouTube since 2007. I had just a channel that was filled with some random videos that I did. They still exist on my channel. If you ever feel like, if you ever want something to laugh at, then set my videos from oldest to newest and see all the first material I ever had. Um, I also run a second channel called Close Enough Cosplay, which is dedicated to cosplay and anime, things like that. So, yeah. Um, let me think. Uh, for my anxiety, I have a service dog that I am training. And I will now introduce you to each of these dogs. You ready? I just scared the crap out of you. I'm so sorry, baby boy. We're going to start with you, Munchkin. Hi. So this is Emerel. He is a nine-month-old, long-haired Weimariner. Oopsie, I just hit the camera. Um, a lot of, <laughs> he looks kind of drunk right now because he's trying to fall asleep. Um, a lot of people ask what his breed is, and it's long-haired Weimariner. And then the next thing they ask is, wait, how do you get a long-haired Weimariner? Because usually there are short hairs, like this one. But we have a this one. I do have a vlog explaining it called The Genetics of the Long-Haired Weimariner. But in a nutshell, long hair is a recessive gene. So, their parents, because yes, these two are full brothers. Each of their parents have the gene for long hair. Their parents are short hairs, but they each have the long hair gene. And then you get this. 
And they also, also come in silver and blue, just like the regular wines. So anyway, yeah, he's nine months old. He's freaking huge. He hasn't grown into those darn paws yet. He's currently 64 pounds. So he's close to his brother's weight, which is 75. He is in training to be my psychiatric service dog. Um, I got him when he was nine weeks old on December 12th. 2016? Yeah. That's when I got you. His birthday is October 24th, 2016, so he'll be one in October. Um, I love this fluff butt a lot. And if you want, I may go into another video one day about like exactly how I got him, but in a nutshell, I know the breeder that we got Riddler from, he's the other dog, um, we know them, and as a graduation present, she gave me him. She knew that I was going to purchase a puppy from her to train, and, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm kind of tired, so my mind's kind of fogging out, but if you guys would like, I will do a video on, like, the service dog journey that I went through to get him, and I do plan on making a video eventually about the pros and cons of using a Weimaraner as a service dog. Fun fact, Weimaraners can be used for psychiatric and light mobility. So they should never be used for wheelchair pulling. Because even though they are big, they're not strong enough to do that. Um, but yeah. So anyway, he... Like I have a video that shows all that he knows right now. But the main tasks he does for me at the moment is he alerts to my anxiety. For example, if I start scratching my thumb or if I start like jiggling my foot, which I can't really show right there we go. Am I doing that kind of number? He's trained to alert me. Let me see if he'll do it. Emero. No. Training a service dog, they're never perfect. So <laughs> there you go. He also is trained to do DPT. He knows three kinds, head, paw, and pressure. Paw, he puts his paw on me. Head, he puts his head on me. Pressure is his entire body across my lap. He will eventually be trained to, I'd like for him to be able to pick up things and bring them to me. He's going to be trained in light momentum, in forward momentum pull. For when I get super anxious and dizzy. Um, he'll be trained to find exits, find bathrooms. Be able to alert by smell is what I'd like for him to do. There's a lot more that we have going for his training. Um, oh yeah, and I will link all videos down below that I talk about. If you're interested in seeing those things about him. So, yeah, that's what he is trained for. He's a little brat, but I love this brat to death. So the next dog we'll go to is this one. He's sleeping. This is Riddler. He is a Weimaraner. He's Emerald's full brother. He is a year old. He will be two in September. I forgot when we got him. Um, he is a goober. <laughs> I always thought that he had the he had good qualities to be a service dog, but he's scared of a lot of things, so that wouldn't work out. But he's very sweet, very cuddly. Loves to snuggle to you at all times. Loves knowing what's going on everywhere. I call him the FOMO dog. Because he has a fear of missing out. That is FOMO. But, yeah, he's a wonderful doggy. Sweet, sweet boy. And, yeah. Last one is this beautiful lady who's twitching. Thinks she's dreaming. This is Sassy. She is 14 years old. I don't even remember when we got her. I was probably eight, maybe? I don't know. I'm horrible at math. <laughs> um, she is a Blue Healer Dalmatian mix. The people we got her from tried to tell us that she was a full-blooded Blue Healer. I doubt that. But she is such a sweet girl. She is a great farm dog. She's extremely intelligent. Right now she's older, so she sleeps more often, and is slow moving, but she is my sweet baby girl. 
good. I didn't want to wake her. So, yeah, that's my beautiful girl. And all three of these dogs are my life. If you couldn't tell from not only this vlog, but from my social media, you will know that these dogs are my life. So, yeah. Let me take a sippy sip. That's everything I could think of right now. Like intro stuff about me, the vlog, the dogs, things like that. Um, brain fog. But um, if you guys have ever have any questions about me, the vlog, the dogs, whatever, you can always ask in the comments or you can ask in private messages. I am also on Facebook, Twitter, and Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Snapchat. Facebook, Twitter, no, Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram are pressing the panic button. Snapchat and Twitter are panic button vlog. So if you ever want to talk to me, ask questions, be like, yo, I like your face hole, to which I'm like, thanks, then, you know, I'm on all of those. And all links to my social media are down below. MRL also has his own Instagram, which is Service Wine MRL. If you want to see him and his wonderful goofiness. Um, but yeah, that's all the intro stuff I could think of right now. So I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is introduce yourself. If you are new, go in the comments. Introduce yourself. If you're an older person, not older as in you're old, but like, if you've been around for a while, introduce yourself. And talk to each other, guys. Let's all, like, communicate with each other, not just me talking to you guys. Because that tends to be what happens in the comments. So put your introductions, whatever, down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, sassy girl! Good night, Radio, and good night, Amaral.